Oh, look at that picture postcard view of Sydney and some of the wonderful water sites. And it is known for the wonderful harbour and, of course, the beaches that are uh, along the coast as well. And I would suggest to anybody to get on one of those cruises and enjoy Sydney Harbour. We, of course, are enjoying the Star Australian Open Badminton Championships for 2014 and the BWF Destination Dubai rankings. And you can see those on your screen at the moment in the men's singles. And uh, we have Tommy Sugiato. Uh, the third seed is up against Simon Santoso. And the gentlemen make their way to the court, led out by Tommy Sugiato. He is the third, third seed up against Simon Santosa of Indonesia. And this is the way the men have progressed. Of course, the winner goes through to the final and uh, relatively comfortable for both of them all the way through. We also have the second final coming up, a semi-final coming up a little later on. Of course, the winner of these two straight through into the final, which should be an absolute cracker. Simon, would you like to call red or green? Toss of the coin. Green, he chooses green. It is red, you have choice. You just choose this side. He chooses service. The two countrymen from Indonesia. Tony Sugiato, the 26 year old, the third seed. They warm up, prepare to battle. Here's current rankings, world ranking number five, seeding here, number three. Career wins and loss record. And this year it's been a mixed bag. Eight wins, eight losses. And this is the time Tommy Sugiato has spent on court. Comfortable in all three matches, really against Kento Momoto of Japan in the quarterfinal, stretched a little bit in the opening game and then breezed through 21-7, that one lasting 45 minutes. And Jill, this is his opponent. Simon Santoso. 28 years of age from Tegel in central Java. We're ranking up nine places this week to number 18. Has been as high as three in the world ranking, but of course he had so many injury problems over the last couple of years. But his win-loss record for the year translates into two titles already. In fact, he won two titles in two tournaments played. Malaysian Grand Prix gold event and then he came through the qualifying to win the Singapore Super Series event beating the world number one Lee Chong Wei in the final well he like his opponents has been on cruise control so far all of his matches in two straight games well this will be the third meeting between these two men Ladies and two gentlemen, on my right, Simon Santoso, Indonesia. And on my left, yes, at Tommy the 2013 Sugiato, Indonesian Open, uh, when Sugiato was seeded one, Simon and at the Malaysian third, Open in 2012.
And being from the same country, is there any uh, love lost between these two guys? Uh, being Malaysian, you know, one slightly younger. Indonesian. Uh, sorry, Indonesian, I beg your pardon. Um, yes, I think that this man we're looking at, Simon Santoso, I think that because he's been out injured and there's been a lot of attention focused on Tommy Sugiato, he's enjoyed success. At the Thomas Cup campaign, he was playing number one so for Indonesia. And I think Santoso has a bit of a point to prove, as, as if to say to the, the whole federation, all the coaching staff, I may have been out injured, I may be 28 years of age, but there's still a lot of badminton left in me. That adds a bit of extra spice to this. Not only is there a finals appearance two, in the Super one. Series, but, you know, there's a bit of added spice between these two countrymen and rivals. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any... I think they're good friends off mm. court, but, uh, I mean, I think they can still Three, want to prove one. a point. I can remember when I was playing, which was a very, very, very long time ago, that, yeah, if I was playing against other English players... I wanted to prove a point. I wanted to show everybody that, that you know, I was England's number one. Yeah. Yeah. Not that I think Simon Santosa's persona Three. is going to show us that because he's a very quiet, laid back man. He's an absolute delight. He always says hello, always comes and chats to me. I'm a big fan of the way he plays because he's got such a a lovely, relaxed, easy hitting style and uh, no great big dramas on court, Four, just quietly two. gets on with the job. Moment he trails by two points and that's gone long, that'll be three now. Five, two. And I have no doubt that um, Sugiato would like to break his duck against his compatriot, not having beaten him at all. No, that's right. And also, I mean, Sugiato earlier this year, Six, he's had his injury two. problems, had to withdraw from three different tournaments, including two Super Series, the Singapore Super Series, where he was defending champion, doesn't play, and Santosa goes and takes his title away from him. So it does... Does add extra spice. Oh, oh, that's nice. He's in control at the moment. The third seed. Seven, two. Seven. Can you explain for those who are not? 100% familiar with the sport, who ultimately has the decision to change a shuttle and what is the nuance behind changing it? Is it damaged or...? Yes, the shuttle Seven, is made two. of uh, goose feathers and uh, literally feathers get ruffled. <laughs> and if the shuttle gets a little bit fluffy, Laws of physics say bigger surface area, more wind resistance, and therefore the shuttle starts playing a little bit slower. Over, or if the shuttle three, is distorted, seven. so it's out of the, uh, you know, perfect circle mm -hmm. as the top of the shuttle where the, the feathers are, you know, then it's not going to fly true. So it's a question of players. If you think the shuttle is damaged, you would ask to change it. Thank you. Uh, we've seen throughout this tournament, we see it all the time in badminton now, where there sometimes is a discrepancy between the two players as to whether the shuttle should be changed or not. And then it's up to the umpire to make the decision. That's nice. Service over. Eight, three. We've seen previously uh, in Tommy Sugiato's matches that the 26-year-old, when he's on song and when he's on touch, he is a delight to watch. Just the way he glides across the court and his shot selection, really fantastic. Yeah, he's a very physical athlete. 
Very powerful legs. I think the big difference between the two, Sugiato is a physical specimen. He loves to run and he will run and run all day. I think Santoso is far more creative. And, you know, just from a, a very personal point of view, I like to see creativity. I like to see mm -hmm. players being adventurous, you know, uh, uh, big debate in tennis. Do you like the style of Nadal, who's such a worker on court, or do you like the flair and the the easy hitting style? Well, it's not easy, but Federer makes it look easy. Absolutely. So it, it's just Five, what's pleasing eight. to you as a spectator. Mm. But, you know, there is quite a contrast in my eye between the styles of these two players. Lovely smash. Service over, 9-5. Again, placement was perfect. Service over. Six, nine. Tommy. Service so back with Santosa. 28 year old. Oh, that oh. was magnificent. And that's a prime example of what I've been trying to Seven, express nine. is this, you know, uh, the racket skills. How many players would have even thought of trying to play that shot, let alone be able to execute it? Yeah, there wasn't much angle to work with there. No, uh, not at all. And the beauty of that is the shock value to your opponent. You had no idea that was coming. No, can't read it. That's interesting. Both the players agree to change the shuttle, and the umpire says no. Play on. Yeah, that's a good smash. Service over. Ten eight. Now they're allowed to change the shuttle. <laughs> Semi silver, nine, ten. battle here between two countrymen. Oh, they're not in. 
It's out. Service over, 11-9, interval. Go to the mid-game interval, and it is Tommy Sugiato who leads by 11-9. Now for the coaches. Talk to their charges. Court one twenty seconds. Court one twenty seconds. All seems pretty calm in both camps. This man, though, is in the driver's seat. Shuttle. 11-9. Men's singles semi-final, number Play. one. An all Indonesian affair. Tommy Sugiato leads Simon Santosa. Oh, my goodness me. Service over. Oh, that seemed to sit 10, on the top of the 11. net for an age before falling back. Sugiato's side. Oh, what I found quite extraordinary at the mid game interval there. Uh, both players had coaches come on. Normally, when you have players from the same nation playing against each other, it's coaches just stay out of the equation. Now, what that tells me is that almost certainly Santoso must be competing here as an independent player, not part of the national team. And I could be wrong on that, but... And is that a, a, a mark of respect when... You know, you have the one, or well, the, the coaches don't come in from the one nation. I don't think it's a mark of respect. I think, you know, you can't have a, a coach, a national coach coaching two players and, and telling one how to beat the other. You've, you've got to leave it to the player's own devices. You can't, as a coach, you can't interfere. Mm. You know, you've got to be neutral. You've got to give all your players equal opportunity and, you know, interfering by giving one advice and not the other is completely biased and as a national coach you simply cannot be biased well you shouldn't be hmm. oh yes that's good service over 12 all Retreating with a beautiful Service smash. Over. 13, 12. Yeah, movement, the key there for Santoso. Leaping backwards. By the time he's landed, he's transferred the body weight. Moving forward in court once again. Oh, he's missed it. Correction out. Yeah, not even having to waste the challenge there Santosa corrected by the umpire okay. and I have to okay. say I am delighted to see that Tommy I Sigiato that it, challenge called out Ooh. yeah that is the first time I have seen an umpire overrule a line judge since we've had Hawkeye and the review system and I think that umpires have been reluctant to give their opinion because we can use the technology and therefore they've thrown all responsibility down to the player. Well, if you think it's the wrong call, you use one of your challenges. So what's happened, it was called in by the line judge. Yes. The umpire overruled the line judge and called it out. And now Tommy Sugiato has challenged the umpire's overrule. 
it was way out, in my opinion. So now Sugiato, as confirmed by Hawkeye, now Sugiato has lost the challenge. One challenge remaining, 14-12. But that's good responsibility from the umpire. I like that. And he was decisive yes. when he made that overall. But, I mean, uh, uh, the line judges 12. all this week have been fantastic. Oh, absolutely. But that was a shocker. <laughs> In the vocab of a very famous commentator who I'm sitting next to, that wasn't even close. <laughs> <laughs> to use your vernacular. <laughs> uh. But very quietly, and as you have suggested, without too much fuss, Santoso has taken the lead, even though it's, it's over. service 13, over. 15. He now has the front running. It's up to Sugiato. See if he can get a, a run of points, get some play, get some flow, rhythm back into it. Nope. There's the answer. Service over. 16-13. He's got to play really tight 17, net shots, Sugiato. Otherwise, they're, they're going to be punished. And in trying to play the perfect net shot, he's starting to make errors. It's over 18 14. Well, Play. we are just three points away for Simon Santoso and taking the first game against the number one, the uh, number three seed. Now just two. 19-14. Oh, it's hit the net, surely. Well, it wasn't called by the umpire. So over. Little look from 15, Tommy Sugiato. 19. Well, justice in the end that he won the point, but Santoso virtually knocking the net over and didn't get called. Sixteen nineteen. He's picked up a couple of points here. The third seed. There's a few more. Oh. Oh. And so with that successful twenty court game point smash, okay. yep. that brings up game point. Thank you. Foot game. 
There it is. First game, 21-16, belongs to Simon Santoso, the 28-year-old, over his compatriot, Tommy Sugiato. 20 minutes we've been playing. Were you surprised by the way Sugiato unraveled in that first game? I think maybe that's a bit harsh. I think Santoso just, with his creativity, with his winning shots, he's a very, very clever player, is Santoso. And I think he outthought his opponent. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important to, to recognise. that for a picture perfect postcard of Sydney uh, the Sydney Harbour Bridge beautiful walks along the bay and of course there is the bridge and in the background the Sydney Opera House some of the magnificent sights that we are seeing here are the highlights some magnificent sights here for Simon Santoso who takes the first game with some enterprising play, mixing it up and without too much fuss, quietly and unassumingly took the lead. Had a little bit of luck and closed out the opening game. 21-16 in 20 minutes. It's interesting now to see what attitude Sugiato takes. Down a game, does he step up his physicality and try and, you know, be the aggressor and take the game to his opponent? Yeah, it's a dilemma for him, really. I'm not sure that being the aggressor is really his style. It's mm. not really the way he likes to play. Well, I don't know that he can sit back and wait for perhaps Two, one. a bag full of errors or, you know, some... He needs to maybe start forcing his opponent to come up with some errors. Yeah, that's nicely done. I think he's really got to build his Service rallies, Sugiato, from the net shots as he did in that rally. Thank Spot you. in the final awaits here. One of these two. Three, two. Just what he would like to start the second game, having dropped the first, run of points, get in front, put some pressure back on Santos. Oh, that's a clever smash. Good use of the body Four, smash towards two. the chest of Santos. Good at that. Even Three, even in reverse, four. he seems to balance up nicely and uh, and finish a point. Santoso.
net play. Sugiato, I think the more that he can get to the net first, put his opponent under pressure that way, the more success he'll have. Yeah, just pointing out to the court attendant where his, I think it was his knee touched the court surface there and left the perspiration. Santoso. And that, that's the problem. That's Four, what I had envisioned when you asked that question. Should Sugiato be attacking more? This is the problem because his opponent can create angles off the defensive shots. And, and I'm not wholeheartedly convinced that that's actually what Sugiato's got to do, as we saw in that last rally. Yeah. Sugiato gets the point there, but Santoso. that's got to be a positive for Six, Santoso. Four. That you spoke about his shot making ability and the variety he has in his game that he can produce the different angles, the different shots, and it puts pressure back onto your opponent. Quite often you'll think you've got a point, and then all of a sudden he produces a shot with an angle on it and kills it. in the end. Service over, five, six. Would these two guys train together? They certainly would have done in the past, in the whether past, they're yeah. training together now. Problem for Santoso, of course, while he was out injured for so long, he wouldn't have been part of the national setup. Oh, no, that's wide. Got to challenge that, surely. Like Got to challenge. Yep. Simon Santoso, challenge called in. Well, I had no doubt in my mind. Oh, no. Well, there you go. That's what I know. You were about to say it was out. No, I thought it was clearly wide. Challenge unsuccessful, Simon Santoso, one challenge remaining, service over, 7-5. Wakai never lies. <laughs> service over, 6-7. Have you been impressed? by the fashion in which Santoso is approaching this game? Yeah, I'm always impressed with the way he approaches matches. He's you, um, very considered. Uh, you, you can tell that he has thought about the tactics, knows what he needs to do. And as we said earlier, you know, he just quietly and calmly gets on with implementing those tactics. Service over. Eight. Six. Played a very, very good match last week in the second round, did Santoso in Indonesia. Lost out in three games in the end to Hu Yun of Hong Kong. Uh, there was a little bit of controversy at the end of that match. I thought there was a bit of time wasting. Hu eight. Yun uh, suddenly wanted to have a timeout and change his shirt and it wasn't at the mid-game interval then he called for the doctor and asked for the tape that was round his knee to be re-taped and uh, it was all a, a little confusing really what was going on and Santosa 
didn't make any comment. He just quietly and calmly kept his focus, but still didn't manage to win the match. But I, I like his attitude. He's, you know, eight all. I, I hate to keep making the tennis mm. analogy, but you know, he is more like the Federer, who, who's not outwardly celebrating every rally, and you know, he's more introvert and. But, but a delight to watch. That most recent winner down the line was fantastic. Service over, 9-8. Mm. He's in two minds there. Service over, 9-8. Thank you, players. Players? Come here. Oh, well, the umpires. Going to ask the players. Okay. Tell them to stop wasting so much time okay, in between points. To be faster, yeah? Please, yeah, come. What's the next step after this? This is probably the second Nine match we've four. seen this. Well, he's given the players, both players, a verbal warning. If he thinks that they're taking too long in between points, uh, he will give them a yellow card. One of the players, a yellow mm -hmm. card. And that's a monetary fine. Service over, 10-9. Service over, 11-10, interval. And we head to the interval with Sugiato leading by a point. 11-10. Santoso back in 2002, lost out to Chen Hong. Yeah, yeah. Coach is very animated, plenty of instructions. Crucial stage of this second game. In the first of the men's semi finals. Well, he's battling to stay in this. Here's Tommy Sugiato, the third seed. Drop the opening game, 21 16. And we're at 11 all at the moment. Oh, nice play 
the net. Held his nerve. Got the point. Indonesian fans, do you hear that? Indonesia, Indonesia. <laughs> I think you're on to a winner here, boys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, well taken. Play the net. Set the rally up with the with the net play. Get there first, take it early, hover around the net. You know your opponent can't lift it to the back because the, the shuttle is tumbling over the net. You charge for these coaching tips, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be cheeky like that. <laughs> Play. Point for point here. 13 all. Second game. Here's the exchange. And couldn't control it. Couldn't get it, keep it in play, Santoso. Being this tight, we must be getting close 14, to a Clark special here. The key moment, key point. I'm waiting for it. I look forward to those, you know that. Yeah. I'll let you know, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, you've been very good at it. <laughs> very tense out there for these two. Judgment. 15 13. Now he's in the box seat. A couple of points clear. Game in front. Final awaits. Gotta hold his nerve here. And he served with one of two. Rally. And Tosso gets the point. 13. This is must win rally for Sugiato. Maybe the decisive move from Santoso. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm starting to really agree 13, with what you said. He just it glides around the court. There's a minimum, it appears, of effort. Yeah. And comes up with, you know, strange angles, and it's not as though Sugiato's playing badly. No, not at all. Thank you. That's 
much long. Yeah, that rally 15-13, like I said it was a must-win rally for Sugiato. He didn't win it. And from that point forward, at the moment, I can only see one winner. Well, well. You can stand and applause in the stands. That is fantastic. 20 match point 13. Seven straight points. 13 all. And therefore, seven match point opportunities. Display. Simon Santoso, 28 year old from Indonesia, has beaten the third seed. His countryman, Tommy Sugiato, 21 16, 21 13 in 42 minutes. He is the first of the men's singles players through to the final. And here are the highlights from this match and some wonderful play. Some of the scramble, I've got to say, was fantastic from Santoso. Look at that get there. Through to the final, the man in blue there, Simon Santoso. Is our results so far, previous matches to the one we've just witnessed. And We've still got plenty more to come here at the Star Australian Open Badminton Championships for 2014.
And some of the wonderful sights in Sydney. Look at that. Bondi. Love to be there. Love to be on the water. Wouldn't you love to be uh, having some fun with the koala bears? Lots to see and do in Sydney. And that is a great cityscape. And you can do it all here. With the background being the Sydney Harbour and its magnificent sights. Of course, we are here for the Star Australian Open Badminton Championships for 2014. So the women's doubles destination Dubai, a ranking list. And as you can see, China have three pairs in that list. Japan two, top two, two Koreans. So really three nations dominating the destination Dubai list. Combatants head towards the court, and this is how they've progressed. Well, in the bottom half of the draw, you can see that the number two seeds, Matsutomo and Takahashi, already through to the final. Of course, they won the Japan Open two weeks ago, their maiden Super Series title. What do they call racket or shuttle? Shuttle. Shuttle. It is shuttle. Who is to serve? Who is to serve? Who is to receive? On this side. Mark Spate, our umpire for this women's doubles. The Olympic champions from China. Number five seeds, Tianqing and Zhao Yunlei against the European champions, Christina Pe